Sina Monson Palma is joining us today on Cabo Bay in LA, a very accomplished news uh, journalist from the Philippines, and not only that, very humble person. That's why she's giving her time uh, for Bantay Bata. We're going to be talking a little bit more about that on Cabo Bay in LA today. But again, it's Talk Tuesday. Bukas po ang aming mga linya ng telepono. If you have any questions for her, go ahead and call, and she'll answer your questions. We have our first caller on the line. John is joining us. Hi, John. Uh, you're on the air. Are you there? Okay, he hung up. Natakot. Nadine, <laughs> she okay, do you get that? Because you, you're known as a reporter, and, and that's another difference, I think. Now, reporters are able to show a little bit more emotion, a little bit more of their opinions and personality, whereas in, in, in those times when you, when you were doing it, it was more like straight news reporting. But there still are people who do straight news reporting, yeah. and uh, those that have... Uh, more or less uh, spiced their delivery with with commentary and with opinion and there are people who like both right uh, who can swing to both types of uh, news delivery and I think that's what you are and that's one of your strengths too because when you do the delivery it, it's it's straight but then at the same time you show your heart you, you show your human side with your work with Bantai Bata yeah. can you tell us I'm sure there are stories you encounter stories every day can you share with us some of the most uh, profound stories well the story uh, the biggest story that we've had which was the first rescue that we had uh, when we opened in February 14 of 1997 was a call from a neighbor who has been hearing a child crying for many years and when we came to the rescue of this child he was in a box in a house in Kaloocan he had been put there by a uh, dressmaker uh -huh. Uh, this dressmaker inside a box inside a box okay. a, a fruit crate box oh, you no. know what a fruit crate okay, box yeah, yeah. is so there was a neighbor who was a laundry woman uh -huh. who left this infant she had just given birth left this infant with the dressmaker and said please take care of this boy because I'm going to look out look for a job uh -huh. and I'll be back and she never came back Wow so six years this boy was under uh, with with this dressmaker uh -huh. and and she, he was abused every day and the neighbors uh, would uh, would hear the cries of these is, uh -huh. and the wails of this boy. Uh -huh. So when Bandai Bata opened in February, she, they, the neighbors called and we went to this to this house and mm -hmm. we saw this boy dirty and and really smelling. So six years later. Six years later. Because so he, my gosh, for six years. He stayed years. there. So this wow. boy, when we got him out of that box and brought him to a hospital, uh -huh. we found out that he was. Physically, because you can't determine your age because of your, your teeth. teeth. Yeah. Okay. Uh -huh. So this boy was six years old, uh, biologically, uh -huh. but physically uh -huh. and developmentally, uh, as far as his uh, mental capacities were concerned, he was an 18-month-old. Oh wow! So you would have seen his bones that size oh, of, a, wow. of an 18-month-old. So he had no speech uh -oh. because nobody was talking to this boy. Yeah. So we brought him under our care. We took care of him. We we sent him to a psychologist. Uh -huh. For us to be able to determine what kind of abuse he underwent right so and one of the ways to be able to see to to bring that out is to get him through a play therapy okay you give him little dolls and in the house and out. he's acting out yeah. and he's he's, he's doing things right. with, with the with the figures and then and then when the psychologist uh, told uh, the boy that we now call Jesse, he's now 19 years old, really? by the way. Okay. He stayed with us all these uh -huh. years because he has, we don't know who, right, who, who the yeah. parents are, okay? So the, the, psycho the psychologist told him, Jesse, uh, ibalik mo yung laruan sa cabinet. You and know, he, he I, wouldn't do that. He wouldn't do that until, his, until her voice became louder and, he, and she was screaming, uh -huh. giving him the order to return the toys back in the cabinet. Because that's the only language that he understood. That's the only. The, the yeah. shrillness and the, 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 the uh, decibel was just too much. Right. And you know what he did? He, he, he went into a fetal he position. He cowered you right. Yeah, and then he offered his butt. Oh, oh, for si the and that's dun, how he dun was dun being. Dun right. dun pinapalo and Wonderful stories. I, yeah. I guess when we return on the show, we'll give you a little bit of time to think about it. Journalism versus what you do for Bantay yeah. Bata. Both are fulfilling, but I guess which one is, is more for you. We'll give you time to think about that. When we return on the show, we'll talk a little bit more. Don't go away. Ang kababayan LA, ahatid sa inyo ng McDonald's. Anong mga bagong